We bring you the witch's tale, written and produced by Alonzo D. Cole. The witch's tale. <laughs> Hannah and 11 year old I be today. Yes, sir. Hannah and 11 year old. Well, Satan, this be a nice dark night to tell folks one of our pretty little yarns. <laughs> you folks doubt out your light so as we can listen to our tale as we set it amongst the shadows. That's the way to hear our bedtime stories. Now, draw up to the fire and gaze into them, boys. Gaze into them deep. And soon, you'll see the hands of time turn back to Hannah Year. Back to the days of pirates, stolen gold, and sudden death. Soon, you'll see a crossroads by a little bay, a crossroads where a gallows stands from which two corpses hangs in creaking chains. Below it, men are covering up a hole which looks like a new-made grave. Through the darkness of the night, offshore shines the light of a pirate ship. While men are singing, here and there, so begins our story of share and share alike. <laughs> share and share alike. <laughs> <laughs> the fools on our ship out there are roaring for us. I made sure they would be. With a cask of rum I gave them leave to open ere we left, they're not apt to be curious about their captain's whereabouts. You're the slick one, Dandy. Uh, soon we must return to them. They're happy now, but in another hour they'll cut each other's throats. Which would be unfortunate. So when we stay at daylight, we shall want a crew. I and all of them. If we'd overhaul the English brigantine... If the news we have be true, that should be within the week. And she's loaded with bullion, Dandy, bullion. And when we see her, our crew can divide the cargo while you and me, their captains, take the gold. To add to that which Ling and Frenchie bury now beneath the gibbet. Think you're safe there? Most safe. For there we are ever assured of guardians for our treasure. <laughs> You mean our bony friends who squeak so in their chains as they dance upon the wind? <laughs> Aye. If one suspected that beneath their dead and dangling feet lay something worth the taking, he would still hesitate to argue its possession with such ghostly bankers. Well, we should have come here alone, just you and me, to hide this stuff. My dear Jack, with pistol and cutlass you have your points, but you'll never make a gentleman. What do you mean? You forget that they're turning, uh, pirates. I had what is sometimes called breeding. Think you I would soil my hands by digging in the earth with a filthy spade as our comrades there are doing? And I would have done it alone if you must protect your lily hands and keep dirt from your fine clothes. And back to the ship you would have gone looking like one who had been digging. I hadn't thought of that. There are times, my dear Jack, when I don't believe your brains were made for thinking. Oh, I'm thinking now that we let these two dig for us into our secrets. Oh, I trust Ling and Frenchie absolutely. They'll never breathe a word. What's come over you? You trust no one. It's finished, Captain Burgess. Ah. Right, the last bad point. Have you tamped it down so there's no sign of fresh turned earth? Say for yourself, Jack Orr. If they had not watched it being done, even those artists who dance above would not suspect. You have done very well, my good boys. 
Now back to the ship for warm rum await. And mind you, not a word of this or I'll cut your gullet. Oh, Jack, please. I trust these good boys. Hey, go ahead with your spades, Ling and Frenchie. We shall follow. Aye. Aye. Dandy, you shot them. And my aim was a miss. One had time to scream. Mm, both dead. You didn't tell me it was your plan to kill these men. I told you they would bear no tails. You were a devil, Dandy Burgess. And you were a fool. Too soft-hearted for our profession. I may be a fool, but I'll never turn my back to you as those two did. <laughs> you fear me. You, whose huge hands could crush my puny bones to jelly. I, when I'm sober, as an Indian, they fear the cobra's name. You flatter me. Look, you. You are as full of greed as I. Yonder in the ground lies a king's ransom. It's whereabouts unknown to all alive, but just we two. I had three pistols in my belt. Here on the ground, I throw the one still loaded. And there, my cutlass. I'm disarmed if you would have the secret to yourself. As if I had wished your death, it could now be mine alone. Take, take back your weapons, Dandy. Oh, you're truly my friend, as I've always thought. Oh, yes, you big idiot. I don't know why. Perhaps it's because you're such a lout, a child, my opposite. Because you amuse me and... And admire me. Dandy, will you always be my friend, my brother? Will you swear it? If it will make you feel any better, what shall we swear by? We who do not fear the devil and have broken all the laws of God. I had not thought of that. No, you wouldn't. Oh, wait, wait. We'll swear by justice, the thing we both fear most. Justice is a silly word for (laughs) schoolboys. But since you wish it very well... We'll swear by justice, which for you and I means death upon this gallows tree. Aye, with our hands upon the chains in which dangle those bleached out uh, Better yet, with our hands upon the corpses, we will swear. <laughs> Brother of the stretched neck, excuse the liberty. I grasp what was formerly your foot. I touched the body, too. By justice, by the gallows tree, by death we swear to be brothers, friends, inseparable, to share and share a life on earth, or down in hell. I swear now you. Oh, I swear. Oh, now let's come away. The odor of our dancing friends is scarcely that of flowers. You must put our good boys, Ling and Frenchie, in the small boat, Jack. When we strike deep water, you can toss their bodies out. No one will see them in this darkness. Yeah, a day like we sail. The English merchantmen and gold. Which we'll share and share alike. Which we'll share and share alike. Jack, you're getting drunk. Sure, I'm drunk, whatever. Nothing except that rum is apt to cloud your usually excellent judgment. Oh, another drink, everybody. Another song. Give me Amsterdam milk. Jack, go up and go, you blasted swine. I dare you call me simple, Jack. I'm master here as well as Dandy Burger. <laughs> now I know you're drunk, Jack. Oh, what's that? Well, hide. Bung up that cast. Oh, what do you mean? We do no more drinking this night. Keep away from that cask, Will Hyde. I said we do no more drinking this night. Jack Moore's master here as well as you, Dandy Burgess. Jack said more wrong. Yeah, don't stop that silence. I and this pistol say no more. Did you hear me? Uh, Uncock that pistol, Captain Burgess. Go to your post. All of you. The English merchant and run should be along tonight. She's armed, and in this fog, we must have our wits about us. Take your men to the guns, Dick Howell. Aye, sir. You, Hans Schwartz, say the grappling hooks are ready. Yeah. Say, sir, when you speak to me. Yeah, sir. 
Well, get out on deck, all of you. Okay. Captain Gore is giving his orders. Obey them, please. Oh, it's me can handle those villains, Dandy. Well, now they're gone, you and me will have a drink alone, huh? I'll have one. You've gone your limit. What do you mean? Rum makes you over bold. Oh. <laughs> Very excellent, this rum. You will not look too longing if I have another jack. Thank you. <clears throat> ah, but liquor is emptiness and song is folly. Until the duet becomes a trio with fair women. Mm-hmm. Or even a uh, woman. How your eyes shine, Jack. Candy, think you will be women all this merchant wouldn't we hope to see? Yeah. Mayhap, if the uh, devil looks after his own. Oh, women. And for all your fine clothes and gentlemen's ways, I'll get the same as you. You've sworn we'll share and share alike. Hmm. Uh, with women, that might be inconvenient. You've sworn. Do not try to cheat me. Uh, don't worry, only... We better cross that bridge when we come to it. No, we'll cross it now. I know you. You'll take him from me with your handsome fist. We'll cut these cards and see who gets first choice. <laughs> oh, very well. I'll shuffle them. I'll shuffle them. I wronged you greatly when I called you drunk. Mm, one cut, high card. The one who gets first choice is the women on that break. Very well. Uh, cut! I've drawn a ten. I've drawn a knave. I win. You shuffle. Mm, the choice is mine and the women on that break. Here, Benny, and we sight it. Captain Burgess, the English merchantman. Go ahead. Oh. The fog's just lifted. She's lying hard to port. Then she sighted us. It's all right, you fool. Our master's flying the flag of Holland. Tell Dick Howell not to break out the guns. If she remains unsuspicious, we can drift close enough to grapple with the hook. I sir, then we'll bother with a cutlass hand to hand. That's what I love. To fight! To kill! And when we have prisoners to torment the sport begins for me. Come on, on Dick! The prisoner cut car. Breaking out a gun. She suspects us, huh? She's up fire! Give her back a broadside! Take down that flag of Holland and hoist the Dolly Rod! Oh, oh, Stay prisoners from me. From the yard down to the on brick, I'll keep them to dance upon the wind. Stay prisoners from me to torture. <laughs> to torture. <laughs> me anymore. I've told you no women are aboard the ship. I'm afraid you have forgotten, Captain. Uh, to improve your memory, once more we'll try this red-hot poker on your naked foot. Not again! <laughs> For God's sake, no! <laughs> uh, it's too bad. He's fainted again. Stop it, Dandy. He couldn't tell his lies on a pain like that. Sit down and drink your rum. When we captured this brig, you had your fun of killing now, I have my sport by making the survivors pray for death. Yeah, but can't you kill this man now and have it over with? We've got the gold. He showed us where it was when you strung his mates up in the yard. Oh. But the minuet they done. <laughs> yes, he's given us the gold, but he's yet to show us where the women hide. I don't believe there are any women. Ah, yes, there are. I found a woman's glove upon the deck. A woman's glove? And the woman must be on the ship. Uh, how astute you are. And I thought that liquor clogged your brain. Ah, our friend is coming to again. Women, they're all women. <laughs> well, Captain, the poker has had time to heat once more. Is your memory better now? Don't use it again. <laughs> Don't. I'll tell you what you want to know. There are two. Two oh. women? Kids, back of my cabin. A panel there. Continue the secret door. Two Two women. women. Thank you, Captain. Very much. That last shot. And my aim's improved. He never murmured like poor Frenchie. Two women behind the panel in his cabin, and I have my choice. I come, but uh, leave your bottle here, friend Jack. (laughs) The ladies might not like a uh, drinking man. One more blow and I'll burst the panel. Nay, nay, wait. Nay. Now, you fool. The women hear your act. 
cower inside the wall and fear of what they know is coming. Oh, wait, dear Jack, and let them fear the longer. Hey, I want my price. I want a woman. Hey, you slug. If you know the light in that deadly terror. I have the light of a woman in my arms. And die of her tears. Stand back. Ah, back one the screams. Mm. Ah. Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, but one. It's not you who screams. I'm not the kind who screams. My companion is there behind that curtain. Dead! A dagger in her breast! She was afraid of you, gentlemen. She preferred to die. And you preferred to live. With the spirits you have, my pretty one. How I shall delight to tame Not so yes. fast, Andy. <laughs> this woman is mine. I have the choice. Yeah, but the other is dead. And I chose the living. Yeah, don't be a fool, Jack. We are brothers. We've sworn to share and share alike. With well, women, you said that would be inconvenient. Stand aside. I want this woman, and what I want, I take. Now, this time, my pistol is pointed back. You're drunk. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, yes, I do. This woman goes to me. Come on, my beauty. Wait! I go with the master. And that's me. You! Take back. I'm not so drunk, Dandy Burgess. You see, as we go through this door... I do not turn my back to you. <laughs> really, little man, you're too amusing. Be careful. Do you think to frighten me? The week I've spent aboard this ship is quite accustomed me to pirates. Even the fearsome kind like Captain Gorn. Of course, cabin boys like you. You'll drive me too far. Listen, wench. I tell you that until the night we took you from that English brig, Jack Gore was my dog, my slave. That I was master here alone. Possession of you has turned his head. So that now he tries to rule here in my place. If you would be master once again, why do you not take me from him? Ah. I go with the master. So you shall. And the master will be me. Hi, Dandy Burgess. Captain Burgess, you dog. <laughs> so you say. Captain Gore says he keep away from his woman. You, mistress, he bids come to his cabin. His cabin, the swine. Where he sits, always facing the door with pistol cups and ready. He seems unwilling to ever turn his back to you, uh, Captain Burgess. <laughs> Laugh. Laugh as you go to him, you. Always facing me. When tomorrow we enter Nassau Bay, I shall teach him to face always. Yet see me not. <laughs> and you, Mistress Kate, will find I am the master. So you, Captain Burgess, will deliver to me with evidence of their piracy by the high seas, your former comrade. Yes, Governor Rogers. I will deliver them here on Nassau Bay and with evidence in plenty. For myself, I claim amnesty under His Majesty's wise pardon for those who repent their wrong and inform against the sinful. That I must grant you. It is the law. I hope you ask no other reward for putting these men within our grasp. Yeah, but I do. And make it part of our bargain. Ah, rest easy. It will not affect your treasury. There is a woman aboard that ship out there. I would place her in my care. And in her company, attend the hanging. You would attend the execution of the comrades you condemn? Not all of them. Only that of Captain Gore, my uh, particular friend. As the wind turns his body in its gallows chains, I would watch him face always and see me nowhere. said Jack Gore, be carried to prison from whence you came, 
and from thence to the place of execution, where you are to be hanged by the neck, till you shall be dead. 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 And God have mercy on your soul. Dandy, you swore to be my friend, my brother. Come, Kate. Let's get out of here. Breathe the air. I go with the master. We are nearly at the crossroads where you say your buried treasure lies. I see the gibbet there. Aye. How stark and alone it stands by night. Our friend Jack, who was hanged upon it yesterday, will be grateful for our company. Hear the creaking chains he swings in. He seems to cry well. Now, wait, wait. Why do you stop? Now, let's go back. It put dirty work to ply a spade. It goes against my grain to soil my hands. You want no one else in the secret of the treasure that you and he buried here so long ago? Oh, nay, but to dig for it at night and dark, it... The unaccustomed work, I cannot see. Oh, I did not know my master's courage. I would think he was afraid. Oh, what have I to fear? Not man, surely. When in your pocket lies a pardon from the king. Nay, and I do not fear the dead. Here is very still. How plainly we can hear those rusty chains. It is like that the other night. The night on which you swore by the gallows tree and death. And justice. To be brothers. Friends and inseparables. Share and share alike on earth and down in hell. I meant it when I swore that oath. I meant it though I laughed and mocked. It was all your fault I did this thing. <laughs> Ere he and I met you, we were as brothers. Jack was such a fool. A lout. My officer, he... He amused me and... And admired me. My fearful master. Sentimental pipe. Be still. Cannot a man have feelings? In the lowest beast, can I not be one tiny bit of. God. I. I have not to do with God. Who are you who have sat my strength and made me weak? My name is Kate. I told you long ago. If that's all you've told me, whence came you, woman? From the cabin of an English brig, some wicked pirate took a crime. Ye insolent wench, turn not your back on me and walk away. Did I turn my back? I forgot who I was with. You! How loud those chains grow now as the weight they bear swims in the wind. We are underneath his corpse. I did not realize we walked so fast. It seems to sense your presence. See his body begin to turn. So fearful to leave it back. No, don't say such things. Jack, Jack, go. Stop moving like that. Done your bidding. He is your slave again. Your dog. Kate, in those eyeless sockets plucked by crows, I see a light. There may no light in dead men's eyes. No, 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 I know, but... Kate, there's a movement of that drooping jaw, as though it prepared itself for speech. There can be no speech from dead men's lips. Uh, I know that too, but... Kate, whence comes that singing? Thinks I do, dear son. The favorite song of the comrade he betrayed. Uh, nay, nay, that cannot be. Kate, the chains that hold this corpse are stretching. Jack, that feet are on the ground. He's coming for me with dead arms outstretched. Jack, Jack Gore, for God's sake, keep away. Ah! Don't touch me with your cold, dead hands. Kate, Kate, help. He binds his chains about my neck. Don't let him lift me to that gallows. Don't let him lift me to that gallows. Ah! Here and share alike. On earth or down in hell. Ah! Kate, but for this she brought me here. For death, I... I know who ye are now. Hear what I swore by. You are... 
justice. the notion that ideals sometimes walk the earth in human form. So maybe that girl was justice. And now, Satan, if these folks would just sit still, we'll be back in a minute and tell them about the pretty yarn we're saving for a next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll say to them, instead of telling folks what we're going to let them see next week, just a little bit of them for themselves. Gaze into the embers of our fire. Gaze into the embers deep and listen. Robert, I hear footsteps. There's something in this room. No, 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 no. They can't be, Susie. You and me's alone here. No, we're not alone. Look at those shadows. Good Lord! It's a man without a head. Ah! <laughs> That's part of our yarn about Rockabye Baby. <laughs> Rockabye Baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.